And we begin tonight with continuing coverage of toxic substances into a York County Creek. Thanks for joining us for Fox 43 News at 10. I'm Evan Forrester. And I'm Amy Lutz. The Department of Environmental Protection says discharge from a Wrightsville area landfill into Croix Creek violates state standards. Fox 43's Matt Kleinen says more on what local environmentalists are saying. In July, Lower Windsor Township residents were warned not to wait in the Kreutz Creek after toxic substances were discovered in tests of the water. Tonight, we know that wastewater dumped into Kreutz Creek by modern landfill exceeded chemical amounts set by environmental regulators, something that local river keepers say has been going on for a while. We're seeing a lot of violations that have been going on for years. According to documents from the Department of Environmental Protection, Modern Landfill had discharged wastewater into Kreutz Creek that violated state standards set in 2017. Lower Susquehanna River keeper Ted Evangitis has been taking samples of Kreutz Creek since 2020 and says he's seen numerous chemical compounds in the water. We're seeing elevated levels of boron, um, nitrates are very high. Um, manganese is also high and there's other traces of uranium occasionally and lithium. We're also seeing very high levels of PFAS. In order to comply with the DEP's discharge requirements, Modern Landfill is implementing a new $23 million wastewater treatment facility by mid-2023. The facility will use a process known as reverse osmosis to filter out boron and nitrates from the wastewater. However, the landfill solution has its detractors. Whether this new $20 million leachate treatment system will handle all these new materials. One doesn't yeah. know. John Bowser is a retired physicist and has been vocal about the pollution of Kreutz Creek, which runs through his property. We interviewed him back in July when Lower Windsor Township notified residents about the toxic substances in the water. He says he's not confident the new landfill treatment center will clean the water. I have asked Republic Services point blank, will this treat arsenic, uranium, lithium, manganese, and a host of other things, including PFASs. And they said, well, we don't know. It wasn't designed for that. Bowser and Evangitis say modern landfill needs the proper equipment in order to stop polluting Kreutz Creek. We need to make sure that whatever it is that they're going to do treats everything and that we have a healthier creek now and into the future. I reached out to Modern Landfill for comment on the story. Now owners of Republic Services responded with a statement saying, quote, Republic Services cares about the environment and we care about our neighbors. We remain open and transparent in how we do business and always welcome the opportunity to discuss our operations directly with our supervisors. Matt Clendon's Fox 43 News.